fabulous because, I mean, there is so much love and care and passion put into this book. And, and this is, that's why it's so good, because you, you need that passion and that care and, and, and almost recklessness to get it right, because Kubrick was like that. And I think it's fantastic that, that they do this. I'm, I'm amazed, I'm, I'm astonished uh, that they have the guts to make a book like this. The same as Jan. I'm very enthusiastic, I really love it. And I like the idea of having it in this metal box and the exact copy of the monolith, it's clever. Yeah. Elegant, informative, yeah. brilliant. Yeah. Stanley would have been thrilled. <laughs> I can tell you that they were trying to wonder what is the color of the Earth from space. Is it light blue, dark blue, almost black? What would it be, the atmosphere? How much of a difference would it make? And it was endless guesswork. And when uh, finally the first space shot was shown, and it was a much darker, bluer blue than Stanley had in his film. He said, oh, damn it, you know, I, I made it too light. But at the time, we one assumed that the atmosphere would make the blue a lighter color. We didn't really envision how very thin the atmosphere is. Always interested, of course, in, in any space program, mesmerized. On the whole, he would, whenever, whenever a film was finished, he would stop thinking about it, but not in this case, because it lives with us. Everybody was interested in it, and we all had great hopes, and are now a little bit disappointed that yeah, it didn't didn't really amount to all that much so far. So far, but mm -hmm. Arthur Arthur C. Clarke always said, "What use is a baby?" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, what, like everybody else is, you know, we were sure. absolutely astonished and thinking about it all the time, talking about it all the time. That's why later on people grew so impatient that it wasn't followed up immediately. And because we're busy making wars. A lot of research. And uh, he, luckily he enjoyed that type of work. He felt that with each film, he was studying at a different university. He found out so many things, and he liked doing that. So he did it with great intensity and pleasure. He, he worked with so many people, I can't even begin to name scientists and space people and, uh, yeah, everything. He did a whole study of all that's going on and all that is to know. And he was like a person trying to write a dictionary. He really wanted to know everything. And he had enormous energy and uh, spent much more time than anybody else preparing for his films. He also had more time because he slept only three to four hours every night. So he had a lot of extra time. And he read very fast. I think Stanley was very, very happy with the film. Uh, uh, but it is quite clear it is a film about what we don't know. Kubrick and Arthur C. Clarke, who are not religious people, take a bow to the unknowable in this film. And that's why the film doesn't age, because we still don't know that much more than we knew 50 years ago about creation and the combination of creation and evolution, because that's what the film is about. The film tells us we have evolved, right, from um, another species. Well, it's okay, this is probably true. <laughs> Where we will go, the next stage, I have no idea. And neither had Arthur C. Clarke or Stanley Kubrick. And we are entitled to fantasize and to speculate about things we don't know. That's so exciting. Mm -hmm.